Don't! No! You! But I want to. All right. Yes. Welcome to Victoria C. Crazy Podcast. Before we talk about Wi-Fi in the sky, you may have heard that we're in the sky for a reason. Mm -hmm. And there's a big reason. We're taking a plane to a place that I'm not going to tell you until the end of the episode. Yeah, I said it. I said it. You know about teas, right? Yes, I know it now. <laughs> That's my man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I am Marilyn Harris. I am Percy Smith. AKA my man. Yes, my man. AKA Percy, my man. Yeah, Percy Smith. I am Percy, my man Smith. Woo! Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Percy, that's hot. Her man. Percy, her man Smith. That's right. I like it. Her man. Yeah. <laughs> Herman. <laughs> Sounds like Herman. Percy. Maybe I should Herman. just call you Herman. So call me Herman. I'll do it. Okay. No, Chatter. Do Chatter. No, don't do that. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about Wi-Fi in, in the, the sky. sky. Yes. Yeah. One of my uh, favorite episodes. Mine too. It was very interesting. We always start off with five fan questions. I want to thank you guys for all the questions. We got a lot of them. We can only pick five. Yeah. Um, but I will probably address your question during the podcast. Okay. Uh, so hang in there. Yeah. Okay, Percy, you ready? All right, the first question is from Andrew. What was your reaction when you first read this episode script? My reaction was um, that Dan has quite an imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. Um, you know, back then you're talking about what, 2011, 2010. Uh, so to be honest, I was like, what's Wi-Fi? Because, you know, I was like a, a lady in my late 50s. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I didn't know anything, but I learned it. It was about them trying to connect and get a homework assignment. But my reaction was I, I focused on Wi-Fi and I didn't know what that was, but I kind of figured it out as I read the script. All right. Question number two is from Samuel. <laughs> was it fun to punch the computer screen? It was a lot of fun until my knuckles start hurting. Yeah, blood. <laughs> that wasn't right. It was like, uh, I think they had me do about um, three, three or four takes. Uh, once it went beyond that, I gave them the, I know you kidding look, you yeah. know, you know, that look that, that yeah, you have when yeah. you, you've reached that point. And it was like, I think we got enough. <laughs> you don't want to get grandma upset. I uh, know mm -mm. because mm -mm. we don't know if that's real or acting. Yeah. So leave her alone. Yeah. They got this. We're shot. good. We're yeah. good. Number three is from Mabel. How did Andre, AKA Leon react when you punched the computer? I think he uses acting skills and held on to his character. And instead of laughing, he had to play shocked. Yeah. So he displayed what a great actor he was uh, because he, you know, I'm, grandma was always messing up his, his thing. Here he had his classmates all on this video conference thing with him. And I'm beating his computer up. Yeah, that wasn't cool. And number four is Destiny. Why was your character looking for butter in this episode? <laughs> I really like that question. You know why? Why? Uh, because earlier, Andre had to use all the butter in the house to get grandma out from under the bed. She was stuck. So the butter was used to free his crazy grandma who went under the bed for some reason. I like to think she went under the bed to get Larry, her bird. That's in my mind. She got stuck. He couldn't get her out. <laughs> he grabbed her by her old ankles. He couldn't yank her out. So he went and got some butter and he used up all the butter. And then <laughs> when she decided to cook or bake something, there was no butter. And in her world, she totally forgot that she had got buttered up to get out from under the bed. Why is a bird under a bed, by the way? You know what? He probably went under the bed to get away from her. Yeah. Because she probably was asking him questions about his personal life. <laughs> and he did not want to answer them. Yeah. 
She probably said, I saw you with that crow last night. Mm. And I want to know, okay. did you use protection? Wow. <laughs> okay. I see you got a vivid imagination, Grandma. What? We all know Larry was probably a lover. Okay. okay. Larry the lover. Uh, That's right. Uh, uh, <laughs> golly, man. I'm glad. One more question. Okay. Question five. Okay. This is a deep okay. one. You got to listen. Okay. All right. So if that episode were to happen during the pandemic, how would grandma react seeing the gang on sales virtually 24 <laughs> seven? Well, first of all, it. if it happened during a pandemic, uh, she probably would be putting some butter and some batter and making her some cakes <laughs> yeah. or, or muffins or something mm -hmm. like that. And she probably, if she saw them on uh virtual calls 24 mm. seven, she would be screaming, I don't know you, don't touch my skin. All the time you know, time there's time. another me on the screen. <laughs> she would bite the muffin and then she would spit it out. <laughs> and then she would scream some more. And then she would say, I'm gonna go take a nap, I'm tired. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> <laughs> to be on a virtual call 24 7 you got a life man you got a life you know like eat some food and go to the restroom put on your wig you know and, uh, are you speaking of yourself right? no this is all mine i can dig it, I can dig it. <laughs> okay sure. all right they dig deep that was a left fielder right they there. want to peel me like an onion that was a fun episode my memory is pretty vivid on all these episodes i don't know why it was so long ago uh, but I, I will start with the table read. As you know, Perez Hilton was part of this episode. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was a big time entertainment person. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to know anything about what was going on, he was a person that, that you would get that information from, yeah. which is why Trina was so excited to mm -hmm. see him on the plane. Uh, but during the table read, I don't recall him being there. I'm pretty sure he wasn't. I think I would have remembered yeah, that. He was probably busy. He was a very popular, very busy uh, person, but I do remember there was a buzz. People were excited about uh, that scene that was going to occur. Um, it was a funny table read. Um, <laughs> and, you know, my funny part was a little kid, you know, oh, that was that always kid. kicking uh, uh, Trina's chair. He yeah. was a, I love child actors. I think they're the best. Yeah, they're they're so creative. And all of them technically were uh, child actors because they were still in school and whatnot, but he was the youngest of the cast, and he he was really good. Oh, he brought it, man. Yeah, that he was kid good. right there. I think he was just so extreme they couldn't make a show out of his character. <laughs> yeah, he was, a, he was kind of mean. He probably wanted to kick everything. Yeah, he was something <laughs> else, man. That boy was funny. It was funny. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um. After the run throughs, uh, my scene kind of came later on in it because as as the script went uh tori realized they had an assignment that was due she was on a plane the only way to get it done was all of them had to get together yeah. and do it virtually i always walk around the set to see what what the set looks like before i film and i i found that airplane to be very interesting it was uh, a partial airplane yes. of course uh with the seats and everything uh the stewardess was a really nice lady. Her, she was. Yeah, she was a very mm -hmm. nice lady. I don't remember her name. But but her part was to be a stewardess, but not quite like real stewardess because she was kind of self-centered yeah. and didn't want to... Uh, yeah, didn't want to engage. Yeah. She was actually <laughs> snacking, watching During everything like it was a, a movie. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so anyway. I thought that was funny that he, mm -hmm. he wrote her that way. And, yeah. you know... Um, I've sat next to people on a plane that that could be kind of annoying and to have Tori sit next to her own sister, Trina, uh, who was very annoying, you know, putting her, her food tray, you know, in front of her and all yeah. this kind of stuff. But that was and, sister stuff. Yeah. But family kid, is annoying sometimes. Him. Yeah. They didn't know that little brat. Yeah. <laughs> and he was a, a chair kicker. Mm -hmm. it, it was overall a, a funny, a very funny script. Uh, the thing that I liked about it is that the focus was them getting their homework assignment done. Yeah. So they all decided to connect by Wi-Fi. And back then, Wi-Fi, it wasn't as common as it is now. Um, and, it, and the computers had a lot of features. 
which I think they kind of have now, but I don't, I'm not sure if they do like them being able to make their screen spin or making their faces look different or putting different uh, color backgrounds and stuff. And with them being uh, young people, they were more focused on the features than they were the homework assignments. And so it kind of made, you know, it kind of made it difficult for Tori to rein everyone in. And each particular character had something going on that would pull them away hmm. from getting that homework assignment done. Absolutely. I thought that was really good writing. I yeah. thought that was interesting. Yeah. You and know? The one, one person in that whole thing, which was strange, was the father. Of the little boy. so disconnected. And then... I mean, it's everything is extreme. Like when he told the kid to stop doing it, and the kid mm -hmm. looked at him like, "No," and I'm like, and he's like, "But he probably was a weekend custody father." But still, man, that's, <laughs> yeah. you're the father, that's a kid, and he's gonna look at you and just say no, and he's like, "Yeah, whatever." <laughs> no, man. Yeah, he, he's on a plane. He picked Ooh. he picked up little boy for maybe a weekend or a week or something yeah. due to the custody agreement. But that's his son. And you're the father, man. No way, man. <laughs> See, I couldn't write that. See, I, yeah. I, I would be like having the father like at least glare at him yeah, or something. He was just whatever. Oh, if that was a black mama, she would have pulled her oh, shoe off and be like, yeah. don't make me, you know. Oh, 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 oh it would have been child abuse. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, the air marshals probably would have been waiting the for her. Arrested them, then shows over. And yeah. That was crazy. That was really too but much. he 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 knew his assignment. He was true to his part. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the thing that a lot of people uh, probably don't remember about that is the scene that I like mm -hmm. is how Sinjin got into um, <laughs> Jade's house. That was creepy. And he's sitting in her house, mm -mm. and they they're all trying to work on this assignment. She recognizes a lamp, and she's like, "Are you in my house?" Yeah. And he freaks and he jumps up and he runs. And I thought that was funny because he had to sing for Jade. And so that's what made it creepy. It was cringy, as they like it to was, say. It was cringy. It's yeah. Like, what, he, he was how did, no, it's not, what, how did you get yeah. into my, was it a sliding door or, or what? something, man? You know, that's like, no, you don't do that. I think uh, Sinjin has special talents. Yeah, he did. That he will use when he has to. Yeah. So. <laughs> That was that was way out. Man. That was way out, and Beck was with he was babysitting the dog of a cheerleader, and Jay thought it was a, you know, a beautiful cheerleader their age, and mm -hmm. it turned out to be a little girl. Cat was enthralled with all the computer functions and kept pushing different buttons and making weird things happen. Mm -hmm. Then we have Andre's grandma. I love that she thought Andre was talking to himself. She started. <laughs> she didn't know. She didn't know about she technology. Saw the faces on the screen. It's like, whoa. I know. But you know one thing about that episode I noticed? That was the only time I seen Beck smile. Oh, when I punched. Was or... that the scene where it was when you did that? I, Actually, I'm not sure. You think he about did it, smile. He never though. really smiled. Yeah. During that show and all the episodes, but that episode. I have to rewatch it. I kind of think it was when uh, Andre's grandma punched the screen. I think it he thought that been. was funny. And, yeah, and I just noticed that. That and may I have been a break in character because she did have the <laughs> ability to make people do that. Because she was crazy, man. man way out. She Everything was crazy. Was yeah. Yeah. And, and it was funny because uh, when we did wardrobe, you notice I had that yellow shirt on. Mm -hmm. And I think they wanted something that, that would really show up over the computer screen and one of the questions that came through was were we really on a computer there really was a computer in front of me hmm. and i believe the the other characters also had a real computer in front of them someone asked was that really trina's butt in front of the screen yes it was ah. so <laughs> And what I want to know, when they had you punching at the screen, did you actually hit it or you just drew back right before it? No, I actually punched it three oh, times. Oh, really? I actually punched wow. it uh, three times. They want continuity when you're acting, so they want the punch to come from the same direction. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing they ask is that I make it uh, more involved, you know, more of a 
a harder punch. They never wanted a soft punch. Mm. My knuckles did hurt uh, when wow. it was over. And when I was like, that was for real, huh? They said, we think we got enough. So <laughs> but did they put something behind the screen. You know, it was a it plastic, it was a plastic uh, covering over the screen. And there was a, a prop behind the oh, screen okay. yeah. uh, to keep it steady. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Because and if I punch this thing, you yeah, know, it's, it's... It'll wobble. Oh, my God, it'll break, mm -hmm. man. And you see how we are here. It was a tight shot. Uh, I think, I believe I came up behind Andre. Yeah. And I kind of reached over. Mm -hmm, you did. And when Tori said, hi, Mrs. Harris, which I still freak out because <laughs> Harris is my last name. That's, yeah, your I just thought that had was so, your real yeah. last name. That was funny. You know. And I'm like, I don't know you or who are you or yeah, something like typical that. Typical grandma. Yeah, I, because I don't know anybody. Okay. I don't know the heir. I don't know the mailman. I, anybody approach me, a dog could come up and I'll say, I don't know you. Oh, you know that was it. Andre and your bird. That's right. Yeah, and on some that. days, I don't know Larry. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why Larry was hiding from I know, because I'm always <laughs> yeah. uh, tripping. Because he didn't know what was going to come next. I know. It mm -hmm. was crazy. And so, basically, <laughs> I'm off screen first. So, screen me mm -hmm. about why are you talking to yourself? And and he says, look, I'm, I'm like on a video call. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but when I came in, I had my bat. My bat was in oh, my yeah, hand. When you were standing behind him. Yes. Yeah, no, I was like, wait a <laughs> Because minute, if Andre's losing it, I'm ready to hit a home run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why would you, yeah, because I was thinking you would have a bat if you were by yourself. If I you believe bat, I always. The boy was there. He's like, come on. But man. he could flip at any moment oh, if he's talking to himself. Man, come on, really? <laughs> I love my grandson, but if he's talking to himself, Oh, I it, hear you. <laughs> it could be the devil. He might be flipping. I have no he idea. He into the devil realm. That's <laughs> right. I mean, he did end up pregnant. So you, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, never know. I uh, know. Who did that? And and then it was gone suddenly. So <laughs> where did the baby go? Where'd the baby go? <laughs> that was never discussed. We yeah. act like it never happened. Where is my great grandchild? Uh, no, I want to see the baby. It came out of my grand. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so the bat's in my hand. I'm looking around like, who did he slip into the house? And he's like, look at the screen. Mm, and Tori says, mistake. Hi, Mrs. Harris. It's just me. And her sweet and self. her sweet you know, as she can get. Sweet as you try to get And once she get a punch. Bye. <laughs> like, oh, God. Really? It's like, oh, I don't know you. Leave me alone. And she, I like how she jumped back. That's yeah, good acting. It is. Yeah. That's good acting. Because what else you going to do if somebody punch your computer screen right in front yeah, of you? you gonna be like, hey, You're not going to be like. It's a natural reaction to see a fist coming towards you. <laughs> Screen I don't care if it's a virtual fist. You're still yeah. going to jump, right? Yeah, she did. That was funny. I like that. Yeah, I like they that. they were all great. But Trina, she really Oh, she, she that, shined she in really that episode. She really shined in that episode. Yeah. Because my favorite line was like, your sister is hot. But you're hotter. <laughs> and what do you do? Oh, you put boy. five fingers to the face to any know, annoying man. little kid. I know. She did it, man. And he didn't say anything either after she did I that. use that method often. <laughs> little kids. Ooh. Because kids, you know, they're just little adults as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, they're smarter than you recognize. Exactly. Yeah. And what better way to handle them without leaving bruises? Yeah. Ah, mm. That'll do it. That'll do it every time. Make sure nothing hard is behind them so they... Hit the back of their head on it. I know. He got the message. It probably would have been too violent if she used her back. You know? Oh, God, yeah. Because she couldn't swing. Head. Andre's right there. She might have clipped him. Clipped him. Yeah. <laughs> didn't want to clip the boy. She didn't want to clip the boy. You know, <laughs> Children's Services has probably already been to her house. Yeah. You know? For sure. <laughs> For sure. I know. Just to hear grandma's voice, I'm sure neighbors would be like, Something's going on over there. Let yeah. me call the police. Yeah, she's screaming again. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> you know, they get used to it. Yeah, they yeah. probably did. They probably know. just turned up the volume on their TV because <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to hear that mess again. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because we have a lady live near us. She's across the street, mm -hmm. but not directly across. She's probably a hundred yards away. Mm -hmm. She live in a duplex, and 
all of a sudden you'll hear her start singing. She loves to sing. She, she starts she, having she a concert. Good. She does sound good. But it's loud. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go outside and say bravo. Bravo. Very good. And sometimes you hear her singing, but you don't see her. Yeah. <laughs> so we got kind of like a person we, like that near us. Yeah. I didn't think of that. There really are people out there like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And she don't care. Yeah. So mm. if you need a character, Bennett, uh, you could have a, a singing lady that no one ever sees, but you can hear her singing and she sings in the rain. Yeah. It was raining one day real hard. She walking outside singing. Start singing. <laughs> and she has rain a drops. She That's has right. Rain drops. You know, she gets things a little mixed up, but she has a strong love for her grandson. Yeah, for sure. She's very protective of him, yeah. but she's also very protective of herself. So if she sees a face or a person talking to her oh, don't out do of a computer she feels threatened by that and she's going to uh, punch the computer out. She's and she supportive. didn't attack people. She didn't. She, she just attacked computers. She away from her. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Which is probably why she carries a bat. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, she's never seen her hit anyone. Before. Yeah, but she carried it like a purse. She always <laughs> had it. You know what? You never know. She you always know? had it with if her. If I saw a lady walking around with a bat, I'd leave her alone. Yeah, especially if she wasn't at a baseball game. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> batty. She's yeah, batty. You're coming to get the mail. And That's you got a true. Bat in your head. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you get your mail and I'll wait. I just stand back and, and let her do what she want to do. Yeah. I cannot tell you how many people are either tweeting or commenting on our TikTok post about how they relate to your character because they say that they quote your lines or <laughs> there are i swear i don't know if they if somebody has just copied and pasted it because it looks like a carbon copy every time but on twitter mm -hmm. there is a line that people use my anxiety level mm -hmm. andre's grandma and it's like a me <laughs> it's become a meme and uh <laughs> you know when i when when i remember someone commented on one of our posts uh, when you were talking about one of the lines you said on the show they're like I quote that every day because I think, honestly, I think that you give them a space to feel comfortable about their anxiety. I don't want to get all like deep and stuff because I know it's a it's comedic and your you're character right. is meant you're to right. be funny and it's not meant to be taken seriously. But people have fears and thoughts every day and they walk out of the house and they're nervous about stuff. Mm -hmm. And you're that kind of character that isn't afraid to show that you're nervous about literally everything. And I think while not most people would be scared to leave the house and go to school or go to work and whatever, they do have these voices in their head that are like, oh, this is kind of making me nervous. I have a test today or I have to go and talk to my boss or I have to go and see this relative. And it's like you might represent on a bigger scale what they're actually feeling, you know? Yes. You're their voice. Anxiety is real. Mm, yeah. It is real. And I've had young women uh, tell me that um, sometimes they want to scream, don't touch my skin when they feel uncomfortable with someone like being too uh, close or trying to be too intimate with them and they don't know them. And they say they say it in their head and it <laughs> empowers them, you know, to back up yeah. and and, you know, or or address it and and a different way other than screaming it, but they have this character that is very adamant about don't touch me. Yeah. Don't touch my skin. I don't know you, you know, that type of a thing. And I mean, today's society is so entitled and privileged that some people do feel liberties and freedoms that they have no right to feel towards you. Yeah. And you do have to have a way of of backing them up or a way of dealing with that without going overboard. Overboard. Yeah. And if that gives you the inspiration to do that mm -hmm. in in your head or in your psyche and make you realize it's okay to express yourself if you feel uncomfortable. Men, women, boy, girl, whatever, because it's a different world today. Yeah, you never know. It is different. that's how people entice others by acting like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm nice or I'm cool. And then they really aren't. Yes. You know, especially if you don't know them. How are you going to be so sweet and so nice to me? And you don't even know me. Exactly. And like grandma would say, I don't know you. Right off the bat. <laughs> not trying to hide Stop it. Stop all that mess right away. That's right? right. And I'm just glad people don't take it as 
the character making fun of people like that. No, it's, it's not, not. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It's that character. That's who she is. That's who she is. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's not like, you know, you're making fun of people who have like mental issues or anything. Because, no. You know, people know people. Everybody, I believe, knows someone that has an issue like that. And they love them, though. It's not what happens to you. It's how you react. How you react, how you deal with To it. what happens yeah. to you. So I like that. But yeah. Andre's grandma reacts in her own way, yeah. which is carrying a bat. She's ready. She got mm-hmm. her bat. She got her voice. And she's got her grandson. Yeah. So that's basically, uh, I guess, what that whole episode was about. She didn't understand uh, the computer. She didn't understand someone talking to her that wasn't exactly there. But she dealt with it in her own special way. And it was funny. You know, that's physical uh-huh. comedy. And I I liked it. I liked it. It it was a good episode. episode. Marilyn, is it true that it wasn't originally called Wi-Fi in the Sky in the script? It was called uh, Video Chat, I believe. It it was originally called Video Chat. Mm. Um, But I I think uh, Dan did some research. And I think Wi-Fi had been out, but it was still kind of new. And then I think they had just decided to introduce Wi-Fi on airplanes. And I think that kind of brought about the change. When you punch the computer, I, I'm actually curious what that looked like because were there real computers? Were they props? Was it like, what were you physically punching? It was a real computer. That worked, but they like had like a, a plastic screen over it, but it was actually a laptop like we all have. The way the blocking was, I had to kind of reach over or around Andre. They had me do it two or three different times because they wanted to see what would work best, Mm. you know, as far as the screen, because I was crouched down and I'm looking because I see this face and my reaction was to punch. I did three punches and and they just chose the one that that was framed the best, Yeah, you know, because since I'm crouching, I had to make sure my head was in in the screen and, and then we had to be able to see his reaction. Because I broke his computer, you know, <laughs> so it, it was more about blocking because the punching part was easy. Uh, as long as they didn't have me do it too many times, because anytime you punch something, your knuckles are going to fill it. So now were you actually seeing other actors on the screen? Was there a real conference call going or was it just like a blank computer and they were feeding you the lines? I believe it was a blank computer. I knew what the scene involved from the script. But I was acting as though someone was there or or it could have been the other way. It was so long ago because my reaction was so spot on as far as her saying, hello, Mrs. Harris, because it was a co- real computer. So I kind of believe that she was actually there, huh. you know, but it, like I said, it was so long ago, that part with me focusing so much on the punch. Right. But I do believe that she may have actually been there because it was, they told me they wanted me to punch right after she said what she said. And I don't recall them just having like an audio situation going on. So I'm going to guess since it was so long ago that she was actually there because I remember her reaction of popping back, right. you know, with, with the, uh, the shocked look. And so our, our scenario was just between the two of us. It didn't involve any of the other characters and it would have been really easy for them to set that up where she was right there. You know, when I, so in other words, the, it wasn't a blank screen. So you had, they set up a real conference call. I believe it was. Wow. I believe it was. I could be remembering wrong, but when I think about how the scene worked, how I was told to, react to her saying something to me and then her jumping back with the punch and then leaning in again and trying to comfort me and say something again and me punching again. And then that just messed it up. I believe it was two punches and the computer was out from, from what I remember, Mm -hmm. you know? So, um, is that what, when we looked at it, is that what you saw? Yeah, it was two punches. It was two punches. Yeah. And they had a lot of sets that episode too, because you know, there's, Andre's house, Kat's house, Jade's house. Mm-hmm. Do you remember walking on set at Nick on Sunset and just seeing a bunch of different little houses that they built? I did. And they had them all in different little corners because it's always so tight. Right. It's not really that much. I think the biggest was the 
the cheerleader set because it involved the couch right. and her coming in the door and, and all of that. Um, but yeah, they, the studio was huge. Yeah. So they had room to, to build maybe what four or five sets if they needed. That studio could accommodate everything. The scenes with Trina and I think Chester is the boy, little boy's name was ahead yes. of its time with all the airplane fights that have gone on since then. I know. That we actually see in real life. And it's adults, yeah. which is really <laughs> yeah. kind of yeah, crazy. I hope that didn't start something. Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, yeah, the just... pandemic brought out the worst in a lot of people. Yeah, it was already in them. It just brought it out. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, because a lot of fights in the beginning was over masks, and now it's just people trying to open up the doors on the plane and yeah, mid flight. You can't do that. Yeah, interesting world that we yeah. live in. I think we've just about covered everything about yes. Wi Fi in the sky, and we're on that plane for a reason. Yes, Just, we are. Yeah, we're taking a trip, right? We're going somewhere. What do you want to tell? Or? You know what? I think we need to uh, just say, if you want to know where we're going, yes. you're going to have to get on social media. Do that. Media. Please. Media. Hmm. Media. What? And follow us. Follow. Follow. And you'll find out where we're going. We are taking a little layover on Friday. Yeah, a layover. <laughs> to Grand yeah. Fanada. Grand Fanada. Oh, more. You something else, B. Yeah. Grand Fanada. He's a writer, so he's yeah, got all go. kind of well, words yeah. in that head of his. I should respect that, right? Yeah, yeah Grand Fanada. Grand Fanada. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> I like Grand it. Grand Fanada. That's right. Victoriously Crazy Podcast. Instagram and TikTok. Yeah. Do and it. YouTube. And leave us a review or a comment. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, we want to know what you think. We do. Yes. Your family may not, but we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not talking about your family. I don't know your family, but most families are like that. <laughs> what would Andre's grandma on a date be like? It wouldn't last long. <laughs> no. She probably, no. She'd probably jump out of the car. Yeah, she might not even make it inside the restaurant. Yeah, either, so. she she said, "Where are you taking me? Yeah. You're trying to kidnap me. I don't know where I am." Yeah, <laughs> oh, and, yeah. and when her her butt would hit the car seat, she screamed, "Don't touch my skin!" Yeah, time she gets <laughs> in the car, he tries like, to hold her hand. Yeah, That's right. Forget about that. She'd be like, "I don't know you." Yeah, it doesn't sound it'll be like it'll be a successful date. Yeah. Take and he'd get truth. turned on. He'd be like, I like her. Yeah, she's she's like my her. type. Feisty. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like, like Tina Turner. I like it rough. I like it rough. <laughs> Playing hard yeah. to get. Yeah, you say, I got a bat too. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Uh, Reel it in, Bennett. Oh, that's not gonna, oh, that turned out bad. Well, we're just turning the crazy up because we still got the act out. That's right. Oh, my God. No way. That's right. No way. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So you ready? To okay. Do this? So uh, on this Andre's grandma acts out. Since we're talking about being on a plane, we're gonna have a helicopter. So you ready? Mm -hmm. What the bugs? That's not no silly fan. It is. That's a helicopter in the kitchen. Oh come on, man! Oh 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 oh! In my kitchen. I ain't giving it no muffins. It ain't eating my muffins. It ain't eating them. Get out. Get out. Ah! No. Get away from me. Get away from me. Don't touch my skin. Don't touch my skin. Get out. Get out. Get out.